variation is, is something that I think we had to spend a lot of time helping people understand, uh, variation in the system. And one of the hardest groups to help understand that is, is uh, politicians. So it was a very difficult chore with um, board members and city councils and other political interests in our school district to help them understand that a system is going to have variation in it, no matter what you do. I mean, there are acceptable limits to that variation and unacceptable limits. So in board meetings, I mean, we, we would, and we, we did some education with our board of trustees and trying to help them understand um, what continuous improvement was and what the philosophy was and what variation was. And we would have all kinds of arguments about uh, what were acceptable limits of variation. But that didn't come until we got to a point where board members even understood what variation was. And I guess one of the stories I used to, to help people understand that is, is had to do with peanut butter sandwiches. What we had was in our, in our cafeteria, if a student didn't have their lunch money for several days in a row, um, we would allow them to charge up to a certain point. And we didn't want the students to go hungry, so we would give them a peanut butter sandwich and some carrot sticks or celery or something like that so that they, they would uh, not go hungry. But, but at some point, we didn't allow them to charge anymore. But we never let a student go hungry. Well, I had a board member at the time who just thought that that policy was absolutely horrendous. And he would bring it up basically at, at every board meeting and, and talk about you know, how horrible the policy was and what were we going to do to change it. And after several meetings, uh, finally our board president looked at him and said, well, maybe we need to, to look at that. And she looked at me and said, how many complaints have you had about the peanut butter sandwich policy? And I said, I've had two. And both of them were from this gentleman who was the board member. And I remember the president looking at me and saying, I guess we've discussed that enough then. So it really was an identification of a board, except for one member, understanding that you don't change the whole system simply because you have one or two special causes. And that's very difficult for people to understand because we really have a culture in that people in power are expected to deal with every special cause that comes down the pipe. Um, and we spend a lot of time as leaders chasing down special causes and trying to rearrange the whole system because of that special cause. All you have to do is look at every legislature from U.S. Congress to state to the board, to whatever, that's how we tend to operate. And one of the things you ask, what would I do differently? I guess being more persistent in trying not to allow our organization to spend so much time on special causes. I think variation and understanding variation is one of the key things in, in that philosophy that we, we need to remember and to continue to, to follow and understand.